I'm Caitlin Oliverio and I'm a clinical pharmacist at UHC and I'm going to talk about the medicines that are in your cabinet that can affect your blood pressure. So the numbers are pretty mind-boggling actually. About half of all Americans have high blood pressure as well as three out of four patients that are age 60 and above. Um, and unfortunately, there's many patients in the country that don't even realize that they have high blood pressure, but the numbers that we know of, it's about 108 million people, and that puts you at increased risk for stroke and heart disease. So if you're uncertain if you have high blood pressure, the best thing to do is to get it checked at your physician's office. If that's not an option for you, there's also health fairs. Pharmacies often have blood pressure cuffs located near where you get your prescription, as well as home cuffs that you can buy to have at your house. It's best to have one at your house because if you do go to the doctor, your blood pressure might be elevated, and that's called white coat hypertension. So they want you to measure it while you're at home for a couple days to weeks while you're relaxed to ensure that you do have high blood pressure. And if you do, they'll determine the best treatment based on those numbers. So the connection between high blood pressure and the items in your medicine cabinet were shown in a recent study where about 19% of patients in America are taking medicines that increase their blood pressure that were purchased over the counter. Unfortunately, because of this, you could be undermining your own health if you are on blood pressure medicines because they're either going to increase it while you're taking that medicine or they're gonna limit the medicine that you're taking from working properly. Thank you for joining us for learning about the medicines that are in your medicine cabinet that can affect your blood pressure. Thank you.